Hello, in this video we're going to be using OpenCV to be able to make a mass detective. With that said, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. So we're going to start off by downloading the code from Pi Image Search and put it to Adrian Rosebrock for the code. This is not my code, I'll leave the link in the description so that you can download it from his website. So once you've downloaded the file, it'll look something like this. And you'll need to open the code, which in this case is the detect underscore mask underscore video. Or if you want to run it on an image, you can just double click on here. And I'm using PyCharm as my IDE just to uh, see the code. So now you can see here that these are the packages you'll need to install. So you want to open command prompt. So go to the file explorer. Right here, type in CMD and press enter. And then we're just going to type in pip install in this case numpy and I already have that installed and then we go back here and we're going to have to install this package right here as well I already have all these installed but I'm just going through with it as well so that you know what to do alright and we also need open tv Basically, and to run it, you just copy this command up here. And it will show a box around the face. Now, if you also have a webcam, you can connect it to your PC as well. And you can run this as a live demo. Back to PyTron. Make sure in the video. And copy this command line. And it should take a second to start up. Alright, now you can see me, there's my mask. And I put this on. That says there's a mask. I put this down. Yeah, I see there's no mask. Put it back on. The mask and you see how strong it is or how confident it is that you're wearing a mask. And if I take this off completely, there's no mask. Mask and no mask. That's pretty cool. And also, one more thing with this code if you want to train your own protector, uh, it even comes with all these pictures that you can use. And, uh, and then you'll be able to train it and you'll have your model to use. And yeah, that's about it. So again, credit to Adrian Rosebrock from Pymage Search. He made this code, not me. And make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.